I installed this extremely powerful belief that I invite all of you to adopt. This is a belief that I believe to this day. And honestly, when I feel like I'm not doing enough or there's not enough movement in some area of my life, I come back to this belief. Okay. I installed the belief that. A question that came up this week was about nine to five jobs. And where was my mindset in my nine to five job that allowed me to go full time with Manifestation Babe? So the question is, how did you find the strength to work a nine to five and create Manifestation Babe? When the nine to five is draining you and you feel it's not in alignment anymore told myself this is my last nine to five job before I'm successful entrepreneur and feel like I'm settling for less if I stay there or take another job. Okay. So I want to break this down for you. I love this question and I'm really excited to answer it. So when I think back to those moments, especially when I was really fucking dreading it, that's where I wanted to take myself back is what are the light bulbs that came on for me Like, what are the shifts? What are the ways of thinking? What are the beliefs that led me to finally be able to quit my job and do manifestation for the first time from that place of lowness, right? Because it's easy to answer this like when I felt high, but I really wanted to take myself to like the low lows. And the low lows led me to this. So first of all, I got really excited about the crystal clarity that I had about the direction that I wanted to go in. When you feel drained, when you feel dread, when you feel like it's a fucking drag to do something or to be involved with something, I want you to begin to celebrate that feeling. I got really excited that I knew the direction that I wanted to go in because just to give you perspective or just to give myself perspective, I thought about like, well, there's people out there who feel aligned to go in 17 directions. And wow, that must be really difficult. (laughs) So at least I'm in the place where it's like, this is an obvious no, like, thank God I have that clarity. Right. I had a session with um, a psychic around that time. And this woman told me that um, my soul is not meant for a nine to five environment. It's not meant for an office job, like coming in into an office with fluorescent lights and sitting in a cubicle and typing away on my computer. And that if I stay there, by the time I'm 40 years old, I would get cancer. She didn't know, I don't think she knew like kind of the path that I was going on. She was just tuning into like what is currently happening. And she saw that I worked an office job and she said, you will get cancer. Like there's absolutely no fucking way your body is going to function because you're, when you put stress on your body, you're also putting stress on your soul. That's something that I, for some reason, it never really hit me until um, a lot of people asked me like, what led me to stop pumping? like pumping milk, breastfeeding journey. And it was a conversation I had with my really good friend, Brandon, who overheard another conversation that um, DX and James, James Wedmore had between stress and the impacts of stress on the body and how it pertains to the soul. Because, and there's a lot of different ways of seeing this, but the way that Don Javier explains it is that the soul in the 3D reality, at least here on earth, is within the body, right? So I was always trying to figure out is like the soul like floating above me? (laughs) Is it like around me? I don't know. I don't know how this works. And so he finally described it as like, it's housed within the body, right? Um, And obviously the body, it's like, it's not really real, but here in the 3D physical reality, it absolutely is real. And when we put stress on our body, we put stress on our souls. So I was putting a lot of stress on my body when it came to just the struggle that I had with breast milk. And so I all of a sudden clicked where I'm like, holy shit, nothing is worth putting stress on the body because um, if I do that, I'm putting stress on the soul and stress on the soul is just a fucking no go. And a lot of health issues manifest because your soul is trying to tell you this ain't it girlfriend, this ain't it. So 
doesn't matter what health issue it is, whatever symptom it is, it's some sort of communication. It's communication from the unconscious. It's communication from the soul. So that really spoke to me of like, okay, thank God I have this clarity. This is really exciting because I know I'm not going to stay here. And so therefore I wasn't worried about what she said. I wasn't worried about that path. I just like knew that I have crystal clarity now. And so I celebrated the fact that my intuition is speaking to me. And I suggest for everybody here, celebrate the fact that your intuition is working. Okay. In the lowest low of moments, it's very, that's like the simplest thing that you could do. Um, And you hear it loud and clear. And then I installed this extremely powerful belief that I invite all of you to adopt. This is a belief that I believe to this day. And honestly, when I feel like I'm not doing enough or there's not enough movement in some area of my life, I come back to this belief. Okay. I installed the belief that every single move that I make is making me a millionaire. It doesn't matter what move it is. Every single move that I make is making me a millionaire as we speak. So let's put it in mantra format. Every move I make makes me a millionaire. Or let's say you dream bigger than that. So every move I make makes me a billionaire. Okay. So I saw my nine to five as a temporary, first of all, and I never gave myself an opportunity to see it as anything even possibly permanent. So knowing that as my truth, installing that as my truth, what I began to see, and I started to play this mind game with myself, that every single skill set that I practiced at my job, every single task that I had at my job was making me a millionaire. So answering phone calls, every single phone call I answered, I'm like, this is making me a better communicator. Whenever I would grab lunch for team members, because that was one of my tasks, my job was, um, I, I was, um, what was I? I was a receptionist <laughs> at a medical office. And so um, at a Russian medical office. So I fucking practiced the shit out of my Russian language. Let me tell you, I was bilingual as fuck. I've since lost a lot of it. I understand everything fluently, but it's the speaking that's a little slow for me and that's okay. I currently have a housekeeper in my house who's um, Russian and doesn't speak English well. So it's been beautiful to come back to that because I've been manifesting that forceful practice of the Russian language into my life. So anyway, I'm like, yeah, bilingual people, they make more money, right? Another belief. And again, it doesn't matter what belief you install. A belief is a belief. Everything's a belief. So use the ones that are helping you. And then you're going to manifest the result of that. Um, multitasking, creating content. You know, I use my lunch breaks to create content. I use my lunch breaks to learn. I was on YouTube, Google, just looking up every single bit of information I possibly could on how to create an online course, how to create a successful online course, how to take payments, how to do the blah, 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 like all this stuff. And I was multitasking a lot of this at the same time as I'm emailing doctors, answering questions from the nurse that I was um, an assistant to. And so multitasking, fucking skill set, right? Ordering medical supplies. I was imagining as like, this is going to help me order supplies for a physical product business because every single physical product business needs to order supplies. So I was seeing ordering medical supplies as another move that's adding to my bank account. It doesn't fucking matter what your job is, by the way. Like you can see every single skill set as adding to your bank account. Every move I make makes me a millionaire. Every move I make makes me a millionaire. So, and then seeing that in my business, because you could be like, oh my God, I don't have that much time to work on my business. Well, you know, I would use my lunch breaks, I would use my mornings, and I would use my evenings. And I would see every single day as compounding, every single post I put out there, compounding, every single email I sent out, compounding, every conversation, every connection, every DM I received, and conversation that I had. You guys, it's insane how many. Uh, one really great example is my really good friend, Ashley. 
Ashley Gordon. I don't know if you know her, but she is the quantum coach on Instagram. And um, there's something really cool manifesting with her as we speak in relation to something I'm going to launch um, later this year. And she was someone who DM'd me back in 2016 when I was releasing my course on how to create courses. She was asking me questions. She's like, I feel like I really, I could really do this. And do you think I could do this? And blah, 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 blah. And I was like, yeah, you could do that. You know what I mean? Like, we're just having this conversation. Look, one of my really fucking good friends and someone that um, I'm interested in doing business with, that could make both of us a ton of money. <gasps> You know what I mean? Every fucking connection, you don't know how it's going to evolve. You don't know what you being the best at something, like you showing up as your best self at work, you have no idea who is on the other side, who could create a connection for the future or for your business or for whatever. So everything is a mind game, you guys, and you play it with your unconscious. So whether this scenario that I just described directly relates to you where you are working a nine to five that isn't fully in alignment. And you're like, I just don't want to get another nine to five because it's not about the nine to five. It's really that I want to build a business or it's some other life scenario that you have. What games can you play while you're there that keeps you in alignment? This is how you stay in alignment. Is this belief game? Is this seeing everything as compounding, the compound effect. If you haven't read that book, by the way, really good book, The Compound Effect. It's the most basic personal development book you can find. And it's like one of my first. So um, yeah, hopefully this was helpful.